thousands of Arizonans work each day as caregivers, taking care of a spouse, parent, child, or friend, but sometimes the amount of care needed can be overwhelming. Reporter Jesse Schultz caught up with One Valley Caregiver for insight on just how stressful the job can be. Programs like Foundation for Senior Living, Area Agency on Aging, AARP, and the Arizona Caregiver Coalition all offer unique support programs for caregivers, and the need is great. Sometimes I would just kind of lay on the ground and tell myself to breathe and get through that minute. You'd think that Ken Koch lost the love of his life, and in some ways he did. There's a grieving process that begins. It's not that the person has passed away, they're grieving the past relationship. Seven years ago, Ken's wife Mary had a malignant brain tumor. Its removal caused her to lose short-term memory, motor skills, and left her needing 24-7 care. The 64-year-old is also her full-time caregiver, and simple routines, like emptying the dishwasher, have become a form of therapy. Arizona State University professor David Kuhn has spent 20 years studying the stressors of caregivers. Not everyone reacts in the same way. So some people experience depression, depressed mood. Some people uh, experience frustration or anger. Um, others experience worry. A recent study by the AARP reported that 55% of caregivers feel overwhelmed by the amount of care their loved one needs. Ken Koch, needing a break himself, now takes his wife Mary to the adult day health care center three times a week. One of the biggest stressors caregivers experience is a sense of isolation, all the while remembering back to happier times. Very, very lonely. You lose your wife, you lose your way of life. I lost my career. I lost the home that we loved. I think that they think that they're, they're the only ones in that situation. They don't understand that there are so many in that situation. In fact, according to the AARP, there are more than 45 million registered caregivers like Ken across the country. It's very important to find ways to take care of themselves because if they go down, it's not just themselves that's going down, it's also the person that they're providing assistance to. While Mary's injury was one of the biggest changes in Koch's life, he calls it an inspiring journey. I've learned so much about loving another human being. To learn more about resources in the Valley, you can attend Foundation for Senior Living's Caregiver Resource and Relaxation Retreat on November 13th, or find the Area Agency on Aging Senior Help Hotline on our website, cronkitenews.azpbs.org. Live in the Media Center, Jesse Schultz, Cronkite News.